A very good day to each and every one of you on this beautiful Wednesday and this being the sixth day of the lockdown. Now I'm not sure about you but for me it certainly feels like it's been weeks or even months and it's not even a week yet. Uh, but through it all we thank God because he's been faithful to us and we continue to trust and believe him for the days ahead that he's going to see us through this. Amen. And so yesterday I had a bit of um, an emotional roller coaster, shall I say? I uh, truly felt so overwhelmed and I couldn't contain myself. I think the reality of the lockdown kind of kicked in. And that's okay to feel emotional and to feel overwhelmed with the current situation. No matter how anointed you are or where you are in your spiritual life, we are emotional beings, and even Jesus himself went through emotions before going to the cross. But the important thing is that we're able to go to his word. And I did that yesterday and through the, my emotional state and me feeling so overwhelmed, I took the word and I opened to the book of Proverbs chapter 17 verses 22. And it was God directly speaking to me and I believe that. And I want to share that with you today and I want to encourage you. Uh, and if you have your Bibles, you can open with me from the book of Proverbs chapter 17 verses 22. And this is what it says. A joyful heart, some Bibles may say, a merry heart, a cheerful heart, a glad heart, do it good like medicine. But a broken spirit, other Bibles will, versions will say, a sorrowful spirit, a crushed spirit, a downcast spirit, dryeth up the bones. And that spoke deep into my spirit because many of us are feeling crushed, we're feeling depressed, we're feeling downcast. And God in his word is saying to us that I have a medicine that will be able to prevent and that is able to cure your feelings of depression, of depression, your feelings of being sorrowful. And he wants to restore and he wants to bring back joy into our lives. He wants us to be merry again. So what is a medicine? A medicine is something that is meant to cure it's something that is meant to prevent and right now the world is trying to find a prevention and a cure for the coronavirus. Hence, we are on lockdown. And the word of God is saying to us today that God has a cure for you. The cure is for us to have a merry heart, for us to carry an attitude of joy, for us to carry a spirit of joy wherever we go. And so whatever we're facing right now, no matter how good or how bad it is, if we have an attitude and a spirit of joy we are able to conquer and we're able to come through whatever situation we are facing many homes are have lost their joy many people have lost their joy many marriages have lost the joy and God wants to restore joy back into our lives he wants to restore joy back into our marriages he wants to mend the broken heart he wants to bring healing to our physical bodies. I don't know how many of you out there may have been feeling ill for a long time now. And you probably have been to the doctor over and over and nothing seems to be happening. And if I listen and if I read the word of God, it says, A merry heart do it good like medicine, but a broken spirit, a broken spirit drive up the bones. So joy comes in and brings healing to our physical bodies, our spirit and our souls. And today I pray that you are able to bring back the joy in your homes by having God come into your lives. David says, the joy of the Lord is my strength. The joy of the Lord is my salvation. And some of you are probably asking me, how, how, do I, how do I get this joy? It is only through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We're able to get our joy from him. God gives us the joy. And the world can't take this joy away from us. The world didn't give it to us. And so don't even allow the world to take it away from you. The joy of the Lord is our strength. And right now, we need strength like we've ne ever needed it before. It's now. And the only way we're going to get our strength is through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And I pray that during this time, you are healed. I pray that your marriages are healed. I pray that your bodies are healed and I pray that you are able to understand that even through this difficult time that we are all facing the joy of the Lord becomes your strength and that you understand that 
we can only get our joy through Jesus. So I trust and I pray that you go through this time reading your word and getting all of the strength that you need from the word of God. Uh, there's so much of negativity out there. Let's focus on the positives and let's focus on what God wants for our lives right now. And I was very pleased to see yesterday some of our moms and daughters doing some fun videos. And so if you want to have a look at it, go on to our HLT, our Harbourlights Ministries page, and you can view some fun videos there. And this is what it's all about. It's time to have fun. It's time to bring back joy. And so I pray that you have a blessed week ahead and may the next few days of the lockdown be a joyful one for you. Be blessed, be safe, and be joyful. Thank you. God bless you.